Can a man of God curse? I recently made two posts, as blessings invokes angels, a curse entices devils, and for the first time, I'm cursing in my prayers. In this series, Jesus is Not Nice, we've learned that using the word nice is not the best choice to describe kindness. Nice actually means to be ignorant or to be stupid, to play small, to be coy, reserved, or even cowardly. You know, words matter, and the words that we use have repercussions. Using the word nice to describe Jesus reduces him, and God reduced is no God at all. What we're actually saying when we use the word nice is that Jesus is ignorant or he's being stupid or naive and that he plays small or is cowardly in the face of evil. We've demonstrated in this series that he not only isn't nice, but he becomes angry, yet he does not sin. His anger is righteousness. He becomes indignant when he sees injustice, and he will return, he will come with expressed wrath against all wickedness. You know, the absence of the fear of the Lord in our current culture is alarming. This series is about returning to a reverential respect and awesomeness toward God, a fear of the Lord. Do you know, in fact, a curse can actually be a righteous action? Jesus cursed a fig tree. Matthew 21, 19, he said, you will be barren and you will never bear fruit again. But then he goes on to say to his disciples, listen, if you have faith and don't doubt, you can do things like this and even much more. You can say to the mountain, may you be lifted up and thrown into the sea and it will happen. You can pray for anything and if you have faith, you will receive it. Listen, this series is for men. Obviously, it's not for those who just want to play nice and be coy and even cowardly. This is for a man who is pursuing authentic manhood and desire to serve God courageously. I want to invite you to join me in this series, Jesus is Not Nice.